But before I start, I want some things I want you guys to notice as I get ready to take the cast off, some anatomical things that I'm trying to avoid. So on the lateral side is the lateral malleolus. So I'll just draw this so you can see what the goal is trying to avoid. And then on the medial side, I do the same thing. Now when you get ready to cut the cast off, you're going to start medial, midline of the leg, and we're going to cut in front or anterior to the malleolus. So I'll just draw a line. And when I get ready to cut this side compared to the lateral side, I'm going to cut posterior to it. Now in the front of the cast, where the toes are, just imagine if these toes were here. We're going to cut just a little bit beneath the toes. We intersect these lines when we cut. Do the same thing on the medial aspect. And that's where we're going to cut. Now let's talk about holding and using the cast saw. When we position the cast saw, we want to put this in between index finger and thumb web space equally. Now when we get ready to cut the cast, our goal is to either use the thumb to balance the cast so we can cont uh, control the depth or use our index finger to control the depth and just slide along. The finger does not need to be like this as we cut because then we can't get down far enough. Our goal is to have that, foot, that finger stretched out or the thumb stretched out. Now when I get ready to cut the cast off, the goal is to go in and out fairly quickly. Do not stay in there longer than one to two seconds. So it's in, 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 in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Careful not to uh, leave it in there too long because it'll build up more friction or more heat, causing more discomfort for the patient. So when we get ready to start, I'll turn your leg this way for me if you could. We're going to either push the skin away or pull the cast away just to do our first cut. Because this cast only cuts, I mean, this cast saw only cuts things that's resistant to it, it won't cut the stocking as well. So that's why you want to pull the cast toward yourself to cut the cast that's underneath the padding. Okay? So when I do this first cut, I want you to see from here to here how I use my thumb. And then from here to here, I want you to notice how fast I go in and out. Make sure you tell the patient what some things they may feel, like they may feel a whole bunch of vibration. Tickle, they may actually tickle the patient, but let them know. So what I'll do now, I'm going to turn the, the foot more in just so you can see how far I'm going in and out because what the goal is not to drag the cast saw building up more friction. And always cut, always cut towards yourself so it would be better leverage as you cut. So now that we completed uh, cutting the cast off, now it's time to make sure that we open it up totally with using the cast spreaders. And just a safety note, when you get ready to stop using the cast saw, make sure you turn it off and the, the, the uh, blade is not moving at all prior to setting it down on something so you won't rip or cut something. So these are the cast spreaders. 
And we're going to do is just uh, open up the cast in any area, every throughout the whole cast. And sometimes what it does is if you didn't get something, it'll pop the rest of it open. And And as you notice, as I uh, go ahead and uh, use the cast spreaders, I'm not digging inside the cast. I gently put them in through the little opening, and I spread uh, the cast open. This ensures that you don't pinch your fingers by mistake trying to open it up. This is the most safest way to take care of trying to open up the cast. Next, all we're going to do is just go ahead, as you can see here, I'm going to cut all the way down to where the stockinette stops. So that's another note. We want to make sure the stockinette does not go so far down that we had to cut all the way down. And I do both sides. Now all I do is put the cast on my thigh, cut the rim of the stockinette, just slide your scissors in between the low area. Now remember, as I said earlier, when I was putting the cast on the very beginning, I made sure that I covered the perforated foam. So now that the perforated foam is covered with the padding when I first did it, now as I take it off, it's not going to stick to the perforated foam. This way, we cut the cast off, remove the cast without cutting along the bony prominences, avoided those prominent bony prominences, and now we can just go ahead and take out the rest of the cast uh, material off. And I like to pull away from the extremity so that there's no way I can hit the skin. Again, this patient has neuropathy issues. You don't want any hot spots being developed or areas where a wound can start to develop. So what I like to do is go ahead and cut this to a, I totally can expose the toes. I can go ahead and take the cast off. And I just make sure I talk to the patient, make sure there was any discomfort at any, any point. Uh, the first cast is going to be removed after 48 to 72 hours. And I like to do is just feel inside the cast, make sure there's no wrinkles inside of it, and then check on the extremity if those wrinkles cause any problems. We just applied the Cutermed Offloader Select Total Contact Cast System. Just a few steps, you'll get more proficient, you will drastically shorten your application time, and ultimately take care of the patient to heal them a lot faster. Now if you have any questions or concerns, please contact your nearest BSN rep. Thank you very much.